Hi. This month sucked. Just throw in the damn incinerator as far as I'm concerned. For local things that got done, the uh, clip compilation doing it wrong, which I enjoyed creating for Free Space 2 and ended up being informative about game mechanics, as that was all done at the highest difficulty insane in ways I had not anticipated. And then, uh, as for, like, what I've been doing with JG and Lethal, it's been raft. Uh, the three of us have done a few more sessions of this than what's been, like, portrayed here. I've staggered them out and have been slow to publicize them just to keep information away from us as we're exploring the video game. So that hasn't stopped Lethal from gorging himself on the various details about the video game. I can't say how much longer we have to go before we complete the, like, what's there in the storyline of the video game. Uh, but there will be more hours of this to look forward to. Uh, I will note JG is not enjoying the adventure as much as Lethal and I are. I'm not really into this, like survival, resource acquisition, and inventory sorting, like, as a whole, but games turned out alright. They're pretty fun. Gameplay this month, though, uh, for me has been strained due to time strains, due to um, external affairs. Just happening, so it goes. I wear a heart monitor. I actually got a smartphone that keeps track of the heart monitor. Uh, for folks who, who know me and have been listening along for a while, I've I've had a flip phone. I've never had a smartphone, you know? And so this still isn't for my personal use, but it it's dedicated for the heart monitor. It's great. It's wonderful. Losing more hair every day as it gets caught in the damn uh, adhesive. <laughs> uh, recently, and by recently, I'd say starting about like the middle of this month, uh, I did get into broadcasting stuff again. It's just like lighter fare things. Uh, it's easier for me to get engrossed and engaged in stuff, because uh, there are viewers I can interact with in real time, instead of the gaping, like, void that can appear when I'm doing local recordings, and uh, while I'm trying to escape, I'm also busy, like, thinking about other things as well. It could be stuff like sound balance, or is my microphone, like, jank, or... Oh god, everything in my life is falling apart, and I don't know whether I have the resilience to... <laughs> You know, <laughs> whereas uh, I can be a performer in a live broadcast. I've done a little bit of Cook, Serve, Delicious too, and that's been uh, fun to get back to. It's been a long while since I did that. You can see one video here. Last played October 17th, 2020, so did that. And there's a couple more, like, videos of that buried in, like, broadcasts I've done over the past two weeks. Along with some luck, be a landlord, which is not getting transferred over. Um, I did some One Finger Death Punch too. It's also not getting transferred over. I've done some Executive Suite with Inferno Canuck and Griffin God, uh, two longtime friends, uh, acquaintances of mine. That stuff's going to get transferred over. I've done Sim Ant, revisiting that, uh, the scenario mode specifically. Uh, that was really enjoyable. I'll be uh, transferring that over. Earthbound Randomizer uh, kind of ended up being dull. Uh, all the stuff with Griffin God I'll end up uh, bringing over, I do believe. And then uh, just recently, over the past three days, Memorial Day weekend, and then finishing it up today, I've uh, played Eratus. 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 Lord of the Dead. You know, a role-playing as a necromancer. Tactical squad-based game. Overlay. Uh, it was really enjoyable and worth the price of admission for me, which was free, because I got it for free when GOG offered it for free several months back. And I could see myself playing the game in the future. Uh, I was not, like, entirely ignorant of the details about the video game. I've seen others play it before, but it was the first time I played it. Uh, really fun. I'll definitely be transferring that over, too. Uh, obviously, um, there is a difference between the stuff I do local recording and the stuff I do live. It's just been like, a thing I have straddled throughout the, like, the history of let's get on with it. Uh, and I understand viewers have individual preferences, as I do. I enjoy both, and I continue to have a channel devoted to both. I care about both, uh, while acknowledging that, 
like live streaming just has like a lower barrier of entry. But there are other things I want to do when I could just like focus on a game. Uh, my focus gets more drained when live streaming for several reasons. Yeah, that about does it. Uh, I'm really hesitant to make plans about what can happen next month just because of, well, what happened to plans this month and so many things being up in limbo. Uh, I know for sure, based on what I have recorded, that more Raft will be appearing. But I don't feel confident about telling you, like, this. these are the other local recordings that will appear in your inbox, your subfeed, next month. Yes, based on what the fuck happened. <laughs> what might happen. Beats me. We'll, uh, we'll play it by ear. And uh, maybe I'll have the resilience to push on, carry forth. Or maybe not. It'll be, it's a mystery. One that we will discover and explore. Maybe together, maybe not. That about does it. Apologies for being such a fucking downer. I know I don't sound like I'm back now. Corporal Grimoth? Corporal Grimoth. Jazz hands. Uh, kitschy trinket postcards were issued out. Postcards are back and more valueless than ever. And uh, I filled out a number of them. More than I had anticipated filling out with the postcards return. Particularly at its higher tier. Uh, I am thankful for everyone who chucks, like, who just incinerates money, uh, just burns it all uh, in, like, questionable ventures from a quasi-entertainer. <laughs> Unreliable. I, uh, you know, a friend of mine uh, years back suggested that part of my attraction is the is the disparagement and insults I give to people. Uh, financial domination, I believe, is how it was termed, where I insult people and call them foolish for, give, for giving me money, and some people are drawn to that. And, you know, I had never considered that before. It's just something I'd remained wholly ignorant of, that uh, this was a thing, you know? And perhaps others are engaging in it with me, even though I was never intending to engage in it with others? <laughs> I mean, I guess I am pretty derogatory towards people who make poor life choices by giving me, like, money, but... I hadn't intended it to be a sex thing. I guess anything could be a sex thing. It's the internet, right? With that in mind... <clears throat> Applejack, the fuck is wrong with you? Vastly over, like, vastly overpaying. Uh, Vic is a bad shot. You're also bad with money. Dark Huron, uh, go to hell. <laughs> Chris Van Beers, fuck you too. Pork and Beans, I'm tired of saying your fucking name. Zachary McKinley, eh, you're fine. Back to writing your fucking address on postcards now. Didn't miss that. <laughs> Abhorson, congratulations on your rebranding, name change. You fucking twit. Kalen, screw you. Mog, you're not even fucking listed on a tier, but welcome back into my life, dumbass. A perpin talk, get fucked. Tiny shopkeeper, you know, you're making better life choices with money than what you used to, and... It's proof that, that people can change. Progress can exist in this world. Weapon, you don't even fucking watch me. <laughs> You're all so overpaying for this insult. Uh, Luke the Nuke, good work. Fucking proud of you. Magenta Wolf, it's a dumb color. That's right. Falling back on named insults. That's me. Necro Lotu, I, I do not have enough time. In my life, there is a word character limit, okay? On, on, on this video. And I, I could fill, I could overflow with how foolish I believe you to be. Alexi Zalo, please. Shaman, enough already. Summer, at least you stop flirting with me. 
<laughs> you know, people can change. Zir, thanks. Zorin, dowd pride. No one, fucking no one, I swear. Alowin, 1980. Numbers and names. Arthresh, Augusto de Oliveira, Azure Rain, Brandon Schneider, Callum Boyle, fucking why? Okay? Why are you here? <laughs> Go away! Cast Iron Dude, Crazy MLC, Eric Adams, Eroding Sun, Green Doom Guy, Industrial Robot, Inferno 308, Luke Budkiss, Maxwell Damage, Nexus Nemesis, Nick King, Otaku Shout, who doesn't fucking really internet anymore except to, like, watch AEW wrestling, but really cares more about being the elite shit and never hears the things I say in these reaction video- Reaction videos? REACTION VIDEOS?! What the fuck do you mean, reaction videos?! Right, word character limit, working through it. Patrick, Putero, the excessively and obnoxiously burdensomely generous Putero, who has set thousands and thousands of dollars on fire, <laughs> has gifted over 250 subscriptions uh, to me on the Twitch streaming service platform. What the fuck? Smooth move, the drow lover, Trash Panda 420, who, William Med Melbourne, and Dark Dawn Star. Okay. In, in fairness, I have... I have thrown a lot of money into a money pit this month as well. I have, I mean, it's it's gone to paying all manners of expenses. But at times I feel like, you know, I would have been better off if I had just gone gambling. Just fucking bought a plane ticket. Gone to fucking roulette. Like, yeah, spin to win, baby. Like casino kid for Vega stakes. You know, I could have... Gone on a grand voyage somewhere or another. But no. I am deeply appreciative of all these dumb motherfuckers who have to entrust their cash to me. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's never been a requirement. Even after the 12 years I have been doing this, money has never been a priority for me. It's, you know, it's life choices I've made over the course of my existence, and I continue to make. Nevertheless, you can trust your cash to me. Corporal Grimmeth will see to it. Uh, it goes to paying my various life expenses, you know? Uh, necromancy on a budget just doesn't exist. You think that fucking Robin Graves, like, what's the big deal? But then you start looking at the price of crowbars. And then, like, employee, like, transportation... <laughs> You know, gas prices aren't exactly fucking... You're like, well, why don't you just ride on a palanquin, right? <laughs> That's just... It's more hyped up than it's cracked up beyond me to say it like that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm about fucking done here. Uh, for those of you who are really into uh, degradation, uh, brought to you by Grimmeth, uh, you're welcome. I guess. No, wait, why am I? See, you see, oh, I just, I just can't do this. I'm like, I'm not supposed to be like, no, 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 I didn't thank you. I said, you're welcome. Hmm, maybe I am. I'm not doing right. <laughs> That's for what to expect. Who fucking knows? The future is mercurial. Unless you're like into like determinism or some shit, like a fate, threats of fate are already woven, man. I don't fucking know. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a player character here. I don't have the answers. Ask your DM. Anyway, we're about up on the, uh, the character limit here, so. Toodles!